Good afternoon and welcome to January in Review with me, Christian Williams. <laughs> So if you've not seen one of these videos before, this is where I go back over the last four weeks and review some of the winners that we had in the BOTB car competitions. And today we're looking at January. We won't go through every single winner, but I will pick out a few. First one is Gareth Smith. Now Gareth won a brand new Land Rover Defender 110 V8, also plus 20,000 pounds. Now he was such a lovely bloke when I spoke to him on a video call. He's actually taken the cash alternative. And I know that he was looking at houses. As I think at the moment he's in that static home that you saw in the video. So I think he's looking to move. So good on him if he's looking for a brand new house. I did want to mention him because I wanted you to hear how that new Land Rover Defender V8 sounds. Lion roaring, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next up, Keith Morris. Now Keith won a Volkswagen Up GTI, a very popular car in the BOTB car competitions and he also won 20 grand with it. Now. I have never, for the five or six years that I've been presenting videos for BOTB, I've never had this happen before. Now, I saw on your account that you actually had lots of details about wanting to potentially to, to surprise your mum with a new car. Yes. Would this be the car? It would. Really? <laughs> yep. You've also won no, 20 No, the whole oh prize was set for my mum. Yeah, the whole no. prize is for your mum? Yep, the whole prize was put in for my mum. Are you joking? <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, <laughs> he gave everything to his mum, not just a brand new VW Up GTI, but he also gave the £20,000 that you saw in the video as well. All of it going to his mum. I know he's taken the car. We have put the order in for his brand new Up GTI, so fingers crossed he'll be taking delivery, or maybe I should say his mum will be taking delivery of that car very, very soon. What a lovely guy. Next up, Ronaldo Mendoza. Now, he has won a big boy car, this. This is the new Range Rover Sport SVR Carbon Edition. This is a big old car, £115,000. He also won 20 grand to go with it. Uh, he currently lives in a council estate, which I knew he was very keen to try and move out of. So I believe he's gone for the money and he's fingers crossed going to look for a new car. Now, actually, when we were trying to park this car, there were so many other cars around and it was an absolute nightmare on the morning of trying to surprise him. We went to go and pick the car up from uh, Stratstone in Mayfair in central London, where we get a lot of our Land Rovers and Range Rovers from, and it was an absolute nightmare trying to get to him due to traffic and also trying to just put the car in a relatively nice place. Now, he did say this on the surprise, which I found quite interesting. So you were literally looking at BOTB this morning? Yeah, I was, I was. And then my wife said, what are you doing? And I was looking at this because I had a dream that I won something. I won the car or something. Maybe, maybe it's coming. And now it's here. And a dream reality. <laughs> dream has become reality, yeah. it has. And I did wonder whether or not his other half, who's his surprise contact, may have let slip last night. However, I do know that a lot of people do dream of me on a Monday evening. On to Brian Grosvenor, one of my favourite people that we surprised back in January. What a bloke. Now, he's won a brand new Focus ST plus 20 thousand pounds. He was working in a little local shop just around the corner actually from the dealership. We used the dealership just down the road. Now it may seem like the camera cut and we were there within three seconds. However, it was a good 15 minute walk from where he worked. Um, I think one of the funniest bits in the video was when his mate walked over. Oh, do you know this guy? Yeah, he's my, he's my drinking partner. Well, all, all your yeah. friends coming yeah. down, your drinking partner here. <laughs> <laughs> he might have been on his way to the pub, if I'm being completely honest. He was very funny, really, really nice chap, and so was Brian as well, our winner. So I think Brian was off to the pub later that day after work to buy a few drinks for his mates. I think he's also gone for the car, which is quite cool. So we put an order in for a brand new Focus ST, which I cannot wait to do a collection video with because I get to see Brian again. Very, very funny guy. Now we can't mention our January winners without mentioning this guy right here. This is Darren Godson. Now, Darren, is an extremely lucky chap. A few years ago, he won uh, the Dream Car Competition, then last year he won the Lifestyle Competition, and then in January he won the BOTV Midweek Car Competition. So he has done the triple, Dream Car, Midweek, and Lifestyle. He won a fantastic Range Rover Evoque that you can see in this video now. But we will, of course, buy him a brand new car, and I believe he's gone for the car. He didn't go for the car when he won the Dream Car Competition uh, a few years ago. However, this time he's gone for the car. Now, what was quite funny is that I remember seeing the email from the auditing company uh, basically saying who's won, and I saw his name came up, and literally all of us in the office went, no way. 
Very lucky guy. Congratulations again, Darren, if you're watching this video. Now, this was quite an interesting surprise. This was when we went up to Liverpool to surprise Hussein Alassihi, who won a brand new VW Up GTI. Now, the reason why this was quite an interesting surprise is because we travelled up, like we sometimes do, as I mentioned, uh, to the winner's location. We went up to Liverpool on the Thursday night to be able to surprise him on the Friday morning. And me and cameraman Sean had a lovely game of pool that evening, which I won. Now, Sean's not here to defend himself, so I can tell you, as he's out of earshot, that I definitely was the winner of that game of pool. Uh, it did go a little bit downhill from then on though because then Sean and I went off to get a burger and we didn't sleep that night because we were quite ill from having said chicken burger. I won't point out the place name because <laughs> nobody will ever go there again. I'm sure we were just very unlucky. However, we got no sleep because we were rather ill um, and doing the surprise in the morning, I'm not going to lie, was actually quite difficult because we were feeling really, really poorly. So, there we go. However, a very good day for Hussein, who is such a lovely bloke. He's actually taken the car's cash alternative and he's gonna help out his parents. So you never know, if you're entering the BOTB Dream Car Competition or the Midweek Car Competition over the next few weeks, you might get that amazing knock at the door from me. All I do know is you've gotta be in it to win it. So from me here in the BOTB studio, have a fantastic evening and goodbye for now.